My name is Jedaira Makudusu. It means beloved. Jedaira, so we can do. I'm 12 years old. So I'm uh, the Catlon Ballet. I'm a student of Sir Solomon. I don't think I remember how long I've been here, but the Catlon Ballet is a very nice place. It's nice to be here. How did you hear about the Decathlon Ballet Club? How do you know there's classes going on here that you can join? So my sister was here with her husband the other time and then she came here to see if she could buy one of the treadmills and then they had a poster that they will be starting ballet very soon. So she came home and she came to tell me and I said I wanted to do it. But daddy started asking me about the reasons why I should do it and the reasons why I shouldn't do it. So I gave him a bunch of reasons and he allowed. So what were those reasons? Um, one, it can make me more flexible and it can give me more confidence. When I first came, some of the techniques were hard. Mostly when it comes to spitting for a very, very long time. So every single Saturday, we come here for training to gain more and more and more, better and better and better in our techniques. Okay, so at home do you practice? Yes, I do. How long do you practice at home? Um, not that long because I actually have to also study for education. So when I'm actually not doing anything, then I practice. How has ballet helped your academics like in school? It has made me become more popular in school and it has actually helped me when it comes to confidence, yes, that's cool. So it has boosted your confidence? So previously you weren't as confident as you are now? Yes. Friends at home and then schoolmates know that you do ballet? Yes, they do. Always ask me if they could join. And what do you tell them? Yes, they can join and I also help them when it comes to splitting because they always want to learn it. Okay, so they are happy with the fact that you are, you are doing ballet? Yes. Do they say good things or bad things about it? Yes, they do, but it's one friend who tries to stop me that I would hurt and I'll not be able to do it again. Okay, but so she was concerned that yes. you may get hurt. So have you had any injuries? No. Even if I had, it would go, so there's nothing wrong with it. What hobbies do you have? Hobbies. Uh, <laughs> okay, so singing and maybe reading when I'm bored. So what other dance forms do you do? Afro yes. Remember in December when we came for the concert, after you danced ballet, I saw you doing some Afro beats. You were dancing with the you remember the two Afro beats boys? Yes. Yeah, you were dancing with them. What motivates you to continue dancing? Actually, Sir Solomon motivates me to keep on dancing and the people around me. How does he motivate you to keep on um, dancing? The fact that he brings more techniques and it's actually nice and it will make me become more flexible. Yes. And keep on telling me that I can, I can do better than this. What about Mr. Solomon? I think he's a very nice guy, <laughs> but kind of funny too. And then he's really hard on us so that we can do better and better. I wouldn't say he's my favorite, but I would say he's my best teacher. How do your parents support you? Um, reminding me to practice at home every single day and trying to do it with me. So how did they do? They're really not good at it, but oh. it's nice that they try. Yeah. So um, how far do you want to take Bali? I want to get better at it and help those who are around the streets and teach them how it's done so that they'll be able to teach other generations too. And I would like to be um, a ballet teacher. It was it will be kind of nice to so teach little like longer. Like yes. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a lawyer and a doctor, but I'll put the doctor aside. Oh, why? <laughs> I don't like blood and dead bodies. When people tell you that you're a very good dancer, mm -hmm. how do you feel? I feel happy because those other dances that I do, I don't really get those comments. It's only in Bali. I think people who know about it should advertise it 
so that everybody would know about it, so that they would know where to go and the technique they should do so that they don't get hit. They can come to the Catalan Ballet and I would like to also teach them some techniques too. Yes. What do you have to say to boys who are interested in doing ballet, but they think that ballet is holy girls? For me, I don't know how it is to be a boy and dance ballet, but for me, telling boys, I would say it's not only ballet is not only for girls. They can also do it, and then even if you're not good at it, we would help you to get better in it. So they shouldn't worry. So what do you have to say to um, children across Ghana who have they have interest in dancing, but they've not enrolled in any form of program or any form of training? What should you advise them to do so they can hone their talent? Uh, so I would advise them to always stick to their dreams and everything is possible with God so they shouldn't worry and if you believe everything is going to work out so yes have positive thoughts and it, it will all come to pass.